this is a question from um, set theory interesting one let's try this students in a college have to choose at least two subjects from chemistry math and physics the number of students choosing all three subjects is 18 choosing math as one of their subjects is 23 choosing physics as one of their subjects is 25 the smallest possible number of students who could choose chemistry as one of their subjects is interesting let's draw the diagram okay. maths physics chemistry I like that number 18 that goes here. We have maths here. Number of students taking math is 23. Choosing physics is 25. We want to find the smallest possible number of students who could choose chemistry. When it is smallest, then these two should be as small as possible. Right? So, could these two be zero? the smallest possible number of students who could choose chemistry as one of their subjects. College have to choose at least two subjects from chemistry, mathematics and physics. So these are all zero. And so if both of these were zero, the entire overlap has to sit here. That's not possible because this is 23, this is 25. The higher this is, the smaller this could be. So as high as possible, 18 goes here, we could put 5 here. 18 plus 5 adds up to 23. 18 plus 5 is 23 out of the 25. So we can put 2 here. This is the best possible scenario to have chemistry as low as possible. And that number will be 20. Remember, this is 18. These three are 0. If this has to be as low as possible, this has to be as high as possible. The moment we crack that, we are through.